Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to Uncut Angling. What happened to my dark brown puppy? Look at how freaking bleached you are. Somebody got their hair dyed, apparently, but they don't look that similar. Oh, okay, well this, one second. Maybe there is a bit of a match here. Looks pretty much the same, hey? Does that look pretty much the same? Did we get a, a match there? It is sucker season. And what sucker season means is that it's ice out. Suckers are one of the first species of fish to spawn, so any little creeks and ditches have a run. Unfortunately, this year there's so little snow melt and water that the ditches are totally dry, where it's usually the easiest to go around and dip net suckers. So this year you've got to go into some heavy flowing creeks and when you get into heavy flowing creeks it is very difficult to dip net suckers. You could find like a deep pool or something and plunge around perhaps but when they get into these shallow rock riffles that they're in right now right here and you come with your dip net and you can see them in the water you don't know like am I supposed to approach from upstream? Am I supposed to come up from downstream? Or you'll just end up trying going straight across and probably end up with nothing in your dip net. So the best tool becomes something equivalent to a pitchfork, and even then, usually the prongs are too far apart. So maybe if you could find yourself a frog gig down in Louisiana or something. But what we're going to do is we are going to build a sucker gig, and that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Bespoke Post is a subscription-based service. And you basically go onto their website and you fill out a short questionnaire about things that you like to do. And then for $45 a month, they send you at least $70 worth of goodies from under the radar brands. If you do wanna take the sneak peek at what's coming and you don't like what's coming, you can go onto their website and you can select any of their boxes for that month. So you're not locked into a specific box and you can skip a month anytime. And now I am gonna open the two boxes that they sent me. This is called the Terra Kit. And there's kind of a list and overview of everything that comes in the box, some kind of knife. I did notice that there was a lot of knives in their boxes. I don't know if that was based just on what I said I liked, whoa. It is a crazy looking knife and it kind of is shaped like a scooper. This looks like an awesome gift for say my mother. No, no, no. Phoenix, no. I wanna hear you say, what is it? Oh, wow. Okay, what am I killing with this? I think it's the ultimate garden trowel tool. Oh, I can see that. Combined with a knife blade on one side and a saw blade on the other side. And then the end here has kind of a hammering device in it. Well-built sheath. And what do we have here? Base light grooming detox scrub bar. Gold moss and activated charcoal. Black soap. Okay, it does smell really good. I might actually use that. And there is one more item in here. And this is, just twist the cast zinc plug against the bird cylinder to create a chirp, which is, this is a bird call. Okay. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, there's a woodpecker right there. This really works. A flock of swans. Oh my goodness, a flock of swans. This is the coolest little gadget. None of this is gonna help us build the sucker gig. So this is the trail kit. A waterproof multi-use box of some sort. A book, Surviving the Great Outdoors. I do think we need to do a reading of this. What do we got? How close to someone else's campsite can I set up my tent? Oh my goodness, there's some people that could apply this to fishing. What should I do if I'm caught in a thunderstorm? I actually don't know the answer to that. I need to read this because I basically fish through it and whenever I'm fishing with someone, it's an ongoing topic my whole life. Are we supposed to go in? It's like, I, I don't really know. You never hear of anglers getting hit by lightning. So what should I do if I see a bear? Oh my goodness. Mountain lions, rattlesnakes, scorpions. Should I share my tent with a friend? Probably not with COVID. How do I have sex in a tent? Saw, ax, knives, toilet paper, trails, clothing, backpack, what do I do? if I get lost, what's wind burn. Pretty cool book. I would say that is an amazing gift for anybody you know that likes the outdoors. So again, maybe not stuff that you'd see and immediately buy for yourself, but you'll find some cool gifts. Okay, there's a freaking bad 
looking knife. It's called Rill Simple Tools. And that is a crazy looking knife with a beautiful sheath. We've got a paracord bracelet, which I will wear, and it's supposed to have a million uses, but uh, to be honest, I don't know. Has anyone ever used one of these? I don't know when that would come into play. And then the last item in the box, Commando Wire Saw. And I will start with this tree right here. And you could see how compact that was compared to actually carrying a hatchet or a saw or something. I'm gonna loop it around this tree. Is this working? Okay, we're cutting down a tree. <laughs> oh, there we go. Halfway. Okay, there's the base. That's probably it. You got it. You freaking got it. So there's our first spear section, like that maybe? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, cool. So there's one prong. Prong number two. Prong number three. Okay. Prong number four. Prong number five. There is my six prongs. I'm gonna get my other knife out, this crazy sucker. Thanks, that's pretty sharp. I don't want it to be too sharp because then It'll be more prone to dulling, so I don't want a really fine, fine tip. I want it to be more of a blunt tip, which takes away from sharpness, but adds to durability. There we go. That is definitely sharp enough to puncture a sucker. Now I just gotta do five more. Two. Three. Remember how I said you can actually switch your box out? Well, I saw on Bespoke Post that they've got a couple different boxes right now with ridiculous looking machetes. And I thought they looked cool, but I didn't know if I'd actually have a use for them. And now here I am sitting here doing something that I would absolutely love to have a machete for. This is going okay though. Hoo hoo hoo. Four. So we've got our handle here and our spikes and I guess I'm just going to put them all around here oh my goodness how am I going to attach these things I guess I never thought about that oh or wait did I has somebody ever actually used a paracord bracelet for anything other than fashion until today there it is all in one piece 10 feet of cord let's put those all the way around there Yikes, 10 feet of cord goes pretty quick. I'm pretty confident this is gonna be first try with an actual properly engineered sucker gig. Come on, let's fill the freezer. Let's go. Good girl, be careful. Hey, be careful. Yikes. Good girl. Well, this isn't ideal without full sun. I can see a few, and there is definitely one in reach here. Steady, steady. <gasps> oh, brother. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Get that! <laughs> oh, how cool was that? Hey, Uncut Angling's back, baby. And we'll chuck this up on the bank, and let's see if we can get another one. I mean, that was awesome. Oh, geez. There's still a couple just up here along the wall. There's one, two, three right there. They're in a little bit deeper water. That's my puppy. If I make you shake a paw, you're probably going to get swept downstream. <laughs> Woo! Such a good girl. It is hard to find a good team player that knows their role. Okay. I've got another one in range right here. Three, two, one. Yes! Yes! Freaking right. Freaking right. It's pinned. I don't know if it's dead. Freaking right. Yes. Are you seeing this? Dead. 
Look at that! Another one! Dead! LeBron James! Okay, did we spook the whole place out? Too much power. Our spear got a little bit mangled here. Okay. Well, this ain't it. We're gonna have to check around a bit here. Be careful. Hey, there you go. You're gone. <laughs> You're the best. There's clouds, maybe rain on the horizon, maybe two suckers is all two suckers are gonna get. Oh, there's the giant one right there. Oh my goodness. That would be my crowning achievement. Look at the size of that one. Okay, we gotta get that one. We gotta get that one. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my goodness, it's huge. It's huge. Oh, I spooked it. Shoot, and it was huge, and there was two. They were like doing, having. I should have just taken a shot at it. You're not helping anything. Come here. Phoenix, come here. Come here. Hi, sweetheart. Come on. Good girl. Oh, you're the best. Nice job. Well, I don't know. Is there none left? What the heck? There's not really that many fish still in here. The bulk of the spawn would be done at this point where there's still that sort of fish sex feel going on here and fish lingering, even though the bulk of the spawn's definitely done at this point. Not very many fish around. But more than anything, I need some sun right now so that we can actually see these fish. Okay, I'm about to get going here. You ready? Sun's coming out. Throw me my spear! Definitely one way up there. But I don't want to spook through this area and charge to that fish. Ideally, I can pick my way across here. Let me get just a little bit more light. Yikes, this is just going to be a small window. I might have to race across there and prick that one. Here's the sun. This was our window. I got to go for it. I'm running out of light, my dear. I think I just got to go for it. He's right there. I see scales. I see scales. I think we got them. Ah, oh my goodness. We're getting way too good at this game. Freaking rights. Uh, are you surprised at how quickly it kind of came back to you when you were back in the flow of things? Not really, not to like <laughs> brag or anything, but I'm like, I really, I'm really good at this, this game. Three suckers in kind of three attempts here. And the gig is getting kind of mangled and dull on the tips. And I don't have much light. So I'm gonna head home and vacuum seal these suckers. Ideally, these are co-stars in some epic ice fishing videos that I owe you guys. Next winter, perhaps a 25 pound pike, a 35 pound lake trout, and of course, a 35 inch walleye. I guess, I know I also owe you guys a perch video and a sleeping giant video. So there is lots coming. Hi sweetheart and definitely check out bespoke post you can use uncut 20 as a promo code at checkout for 20 percent off your first box this was a sponsored video but i don't get anything from that code that's just a perk for you if you're interested and if nothing else i would suggest going to bespoke post's website and looking for gift ideas because i find myself on amazon literally typing in cool gift ideas and not really finding much, and then you go on Bespoke Post and there's legitimately unique, cool stuff. You know, Father's Day is around the corner. Look at these beauties. Oh my goodness, now it seals. And this is just so key for preserving your bait and having it be not freezer burnt and just perfect and ready to go for next season. Or if I were to take it out to go catfishing, or what have you, but thanks for watching guys, and hopefully I can get you another video real soon.